What's going on, my multiverses peeps? Yes, we finally have some news regarding multiverses. <laughs> yeah, boy. I mean, maybe not like brand new news, but it's just more of a breakdown of kind of what they've shown off so far. They're calling it the combat refactor. So without further ado, I'm going to break it down for you nice and easy. Let's just talk about the update they gave us. I think the biggest notes here are, I mean, because there's a lot to read. <laughs> there's, there's a lot to go over. Biggest notes here is they say here, we love the fluidity of the combat of the, of the beta that they had almost two years ago, but we want to do equally reward more strategic play without removing that fluidity while our evolved combat prioritizes more strategic and neutral play we feel that these changes for our launch still preserve the soul of multiverses combat while evolving it in a positive direction so they say here in short when we launch multiverses combat will be easy to pick up but truly challenging to master so here are the details they are improving the clarity because what they're saying here is back in the beta there's a lot of feedback regarding players didn't really see or you know visually know know what was going on for certain moves or certain mechanics so they say here while the fundamentals remain the same we think you'll appreciate the tweaks we've incorporated to improve the flow of the match making the moment to moment easier and clearer for players to observe so the biggest thing here we can see is that the characters are larger you can get a really good picture of how much larger they actually are here like this is how it looked before as you can see before you could saw a lot of the stage and that's still there to a point but now you see a little bit less of the stage and the characters are bigger so in a way the camera is a bit more zoomed in and the characters are larger they say that that's because they want to provide a very clear direction on the moves they want to provide a very clear visual of what's happening in the moment like when you get hit or you think your move missed or whatever like what happened you can now visually see that it also says here our in-game camera is also more dynamic and will pan and zoom accordingly depending on what is going on in game so there are certain moves that might make the camera zoom in a tiny bit more on that move to again help clarify what's going on and i think help the fluidity of that match like oh zoom out a little bit here's this move good camera movement in a fighting game is just peak like it says here when fighting an opponent 1v1 the camera will zoom in to bring you closer to the action but when combat moves to the wider parts of the map you'll see the camera pull out a little bit to capture the just capture all the mayhem they state the dynamic camera does a fantastic job of keeping the game feeling snappy and fast while also improving readability so that you can better understand your opponent's action they've also added a set of animations that will not only improve the game visually but will also help you identify exactly what your opponents are doing at all times of course they have the better net code as well to help improve upon all of that they also go on to explain the dash attack here they state a new dash attack has been added to all characters they go on to explain that you can use this to start a combo in the middle of a combo maybe or to end a combo to add pressure to close that gap stuff like that you could also just input forward direction twice in a quick succession to use your dash attack so they've kind of mapped it out to be an attack as well and for an example here's how iron giants dash attack looks so he just kind of falls over. He's so big that he can just do that. He's so big, he can just be like, oh, a flop. So they've added dash attacks. They've also added parries. As we've already seen in the Batman clip they gave us and others, we have a parry window right there. So it definitely is a new mechanic, obviously. They say that a player who parries will recover more quickly than the attacker and will have the opportunity to launch their own attack. As most parries, though, they say that if you mess up the timing, you could be left in a vulnerable spot. So if you miss the parry, you're now likely to get punished for that. Something that you might want to master for sure. Not only are characters getting new dash attacks and we're getting new mechanics in the game, but they're also stating here that characters are getting a whole revamped kit. They say at launch, every character from our open beta period will receive a kit tuning to improve their overall feel some will even receive new abilities to replace previous moves such as harley's balloons even the hit volume timing and placement of all of its hits have been adjusted for every single move again it's really revamping every character we can see here the old harley uh the balloon set up here how it looks and feels versus the new harley and how this looks and feels <laughs> Is it a major change that will just completely blow your mind? No. But what matters here is they say their moves feel more precise and impactful. So really this whole combat refactor kind of explained and, and made it more clear that we're getting new character kits for all the characters. Every character is going to have a dash attack of sorts. Parries are a new mechanic in the game. And they basically just said it out loud. Yes, the characters are larger, but here's why. We wanted to make it more clear what's going on in the actual fight. When you get hit by a move or, or something fast happens, you're like, what's going on? Well, now you have a really good more of a visual example of what's going on so that way you understand what actually happened in the fight you know what i i understand why they're doing it and looking at this the, the characters here shaggy and black adam they do look they do look really small they they this I, i'm kind of digging this a lot more this is a bit zoomed out the characters are very small i 
I, I totally understand that. Like if, like, if I was happening here and something crazy happened there where I got punished, I might be like, wait, what happened? I thought I did this move. So, so being a bit more zoomed in and having the characters a bit larger, I think will definitely help with that where I go, oh, I, I did this move, but I saw he countered it with this move. So now it makes sense why I got punished. Just because you are a bit more zoomed in and your characters are a tad larger, I, I kind of get it. And seeing this makes me go, okay, I I kind of like this. I, I'm hoping to I'm hoping that this feels really good too. I know that they've slowed the game down. I think just a little bit, but but I don't think that'll be a, a a major change where I'm like, oh, this sucks. I think it'll be for the better all around. Both the speed of the game, the pace of the game, the the character sizes, the camera movement. I think it's all for the better. And I think for those of us that played the beta, sure, it'll take some time for getting used to. But I don't think it'll be something that like we just could never get used to. You know what I'm saying? I think the biggest thing about this entire combat refactor blog they did was just the transparency was was uh, quite literally the clarity they gave us to the audience us the players they were just super transparent like hey you saw this here's what's really going on and why we're doing all this stuff here's what we've added we've added dash attacks we've added parries we've added character kits they were just super clear about it and i love to see it if you guys are excited as i am for multiverse to return on may 28th let me know down below what are your thoughts on all of this when it comes to combat refactor when it comes to the size of the characters the new parries the new dash attacks what are your thoughts on all of this let me know down below subscribe here for more and i already have tons of multiverses content already out so go check that out here